Good morning, grade 9. Today we will start with a new chapter, which is chapter 7, Geometry. In this part, we will make a review on some properties already taken before last year, and we will also learn some new properties. We will start by the right triangle, and especially by the Pythagorean theorem. If ABC is a right triangle at A, then BC squared is equal to AB squared plus AC squared. Another property, if ABC is a right triangle at A and M is the midpoint of BC, then we can deduce that MA is equal to MB and equal to MC. We can deduce also that AM is equal to half BC. Another property concerning right triangles, which is the triangle inscribed in a semicircle. If C is a circle of center O and diameter AB, and I is a point on the circle C, then we can deduce that AIB is a right triangle at I. Therefore, whenever we have this property, we can say that AIB is a right triangle at I since it is inscribed in a semicircle of diameter AB. Also another property concerning right triangles, which is the four points on the same circle. If AIB, for example, equal to 90 degrees, then we can deduce that AIB is inscribed in a semicircle of diameter AB as we have seen before. If we have also AJB equal to 90 degrees, then AJB is also inscribed in a semicircle of diameter AB. Then A, I, B, and J belong to the same circle of diameter AB since both triangles AIB and AJB are inscribed in a semicircle of the same diameter. AB. So whenever we have this property, we can say that AIB equal to AJB equal to 90 degrees, then we can directly deduce that AIB and J belong to the same circle of diameter AB. Let's move to the arcs and angles. And let's start with the central angle. By definition, a central angle is an angle whose vertex is the center and whose sides are radii intersecting the circle in two distinct points. Then, AOB in this figure is a central angle whose sides OA and OB are intersecting the circle in two distinct points A and B and its vertex is O which is the center of the circle C. We have a property concerning central angles. The angle AOB, which is the central angle, is equal to the measure of the arc AB. Another property concerning arcs and angles is that of the inscribed angle. By definition, an inscribed angle is the angle subtended at a point on the circle by two given points on the circle. For example, in this figure, the two angles AIB and AJB are two inscribed angles, since their vertices I and J are two points on the circle, and the two angles AIB and AJB are subtended by two points A and B that are on the circle. 
we have some properties concerning inscribed angles the first property the inscribed angle does not change as its vertex is moved to different positions on the circle the second property if two inscribed angles like AIB and AJB intersect the same arc which is the arc AB in this case then we can say that they are equal then AIB is equal to AJB since they intercept the same arc AB and their measure is equal to half of the measure of the arc AB and as we have seen in the property of the central angle the measure of the arc AB is equal to the measure of the angle AOB then we can deduce the third property which is AIB equal AJB equal angle AOB over 2 now we will learn about the similarity of two triangles which is a new property that we will learn this year we say that two triangles are similar if two angles of the first triangle are equal to two angles of the second triangle let's take an example in the two triangles abc and def as you can see in the figure the angle ABC is equal to the angle DEF and the angle ACB is equal to the angle DFE then we can directly deduce that ABC and DEF are similar from the similarity of two triangles we can deduce the ratio of similarity so if ABC and DEF are two similar triangles we can deduce that AB over DE equal AC over DF equal BC over EF and this is called the ratio of similarity in order to learn how to put this ratio first of all we have to arrange the two triangles in a way that the angle A is equal to the angle D the angle B is equal to the angle E and the angle C is equal to the angle F as we have in the figure then we start by AB over DE equal AC over DF equal BC over EF don't forget to write the notes in this video on your notebooks and to study the notes for next time thank you so much for listening